guys, it's Morgan, and for today's artistry video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my foundation do's and don'ts. Because trust me, there are several, and these will make a big difference in how your makeup turns out. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the first don't of the video is don't just go straight into the foundation. It's important to prime, prep, and protect your skin before you go into applying the makeup. Do pick a multitasking product that has all three of these features. This is the Beauty Balm Perfecting Primer and it'll protect my skin with an SPF of 35. It's going to moisturize my skin which will help my foundation lay a lot more smoothly and it's also going to prime my makeup so it'll last the entire day. It's time to pick your foundation and don't just pick any random foundation. Do take the time to look closely at your skin and analyze what you need. Then decide what your personal preferences are when it comes to your foundations. Now, of course, all foundations are different, so take a look at the ones you have and decide which one will fit your needs and preferences the best. There's the Youth Extend Lifting Smoothing Foundation, which will help blur any imperfections you have as well as make fine lines and wrinkles less visible. There's the Exact Fit Long Wearing Foundation, which, as the name implies, will last all day and has great coverage. And finally, we have the Hydra V Sheer Weightless Foundation, which is my personal favorite because it's super lightweight and doesn't feel like you're wearing makeup at all, and it has the most beautiful finish. So for this video, I'm going to be sticking with this guy. When it comes to your makeup, especially your foundation, my motto is always less is more. So don't just go in and slather your face with foundation. The point of foundation is to enhance and perfect your skin, not look like you have a whole mask of makeup on. Do build up layers on your skin because you can always add more foundation if you feel the coverage is not sufficient enough. So I always start with a preliminary base and just blend that onto my skin and then I can go back in and decide if there are certain areas I want to hit with more foundation or if I'm okay with that coverage. While you're building up and blending the foundation to your personal liking, it's also important to blend the foundation down your neck. I know we've all seen it before when someone's foundation stops right at their jawline, but this is a major foundation don't that's super easy to avoid. I think this was a trend started by the Kardashians, but don't be so heavy handed with your concealer. Not only does this look unnatural, but with a thicker layer of concealer, especially under your eyes, you're gonna notice creasing with any expression you make. When it comes to concealer, feel free to mix two colors together to get a shade that will perfectly match your skin. Similar to how I applied my foundation, I like to layer on my concealer because that controls how much concealer I'm actually applying. So again, I'm not caking on my concealer, which is going to prevent creasing and look a lot more natural on my skin. Powder can make or break your foundation. And I see this a lot where people coat on the powder because of the whole baking your foundation trend. But in all honesty, this doesn't work well for every single skin type. In fact, it can make your skin look dry and cracked. So what I like to do is I take the puff and I use my middle finger as a guide for the powder and where I'm applying it. So this helps me be very accurate with where I'm placing the powder so I'm not just throwing it everywhere and I'm just setting the areas where I tend to get oily and then I take a brush to dust off any excess powder. Overall, I think the two sides speak for themselves. The do side is radiant and natural, while the don't side is dry and cakey looking. All right, you guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully you picked up some tips on how to properly apply your foundation and how to not apply your foundation. And of course, I will see you guys in the next artistry video. Bye, guys.